So this is part two of my any percent tutorial. Uh, in this part, we're going to be covering um, the glitch Villa Skip, which skips Candlelit Castle and allows us early access into Dungeon Three. And we're going to be con covering Dungeon Three itself. Uh, that's it. Um, the rest of the videos should only really cover one dungeon besides the final one, which is Dungeon Seven and Dungeon Eight, because those are uh, like a minute long each, and they're really short. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I just finished Dungeon 2. We're gonna pick up the rock. Oh, we're gonna get this warp point for later. And we're going to buy some medicine from Tracy. So we got lucky. Uh, you can, it's, uh, the price depends on whether or not you have an odd or even kill count. So if you're tight on rupees, you can just leave. Go over here. And kill one crow. And then go back and then it'll be the other price. Uh, because I picked up the rupee in D2, the extra rupee, I'm pretty much always going to be a good on my rupees. So even if it was 42, I uh, I would buy it anyway because I've got enough money. So now we're going to steal from the shop. Uh, you gotta buy two bombs and then steal the shovel. So this you want to stand so that like if you head straight down, you you are like barely like you're like against the table, kind of. Um, you can only get so close to the table. So like this is like the right place to stand. You don't want to stand over here. You don't want to stand over here. You don't want to stand like over here. You want to stand so that you can just walk straight down without being interrupted. Then once he's looking up, you're going to walk down to here. And then when you reach the mat, you're going to walk down right like this. So it should look like this. And it's that easy. And now we're going to lose our uh, perfect run and die here. because the shopkeeper demands it to be that way. And we're gonna steal from him again because we didn't learn our lesson. So now that we have those things, um, we're gonna take our good old trusty fox and we're gonna start luring him over to Richard's house. We're also going to get this warp point for later. So for this trick to work, you need to be at two hearts. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there for this. Uh, if you don't like my method, you can easily learn another method, but um, my method is uh, feels comfortable for me. Um, so what I do is I kind of get the fox all the way down. So right now the fox is all the way against the house. When he hits me, he doesn't really go anywhere. Um, then I hit him, and he bonks off my shield. Then I put a bomb above me. I face up, place a bomb, um, and then I, and then I face left, and I talk to the fox just to ensure that he's not going to um, run away. Then uh, I, as soon as the bomb starts flashing, I count in my head. I'll count along with the flashes because it's hard to count in your head the, the correct speed because it flashes really fast. So I'll go one, two, three, four. And on the fourth flash, as soon as you say the word four, one, two, three, four, 
you want to slash your sword, jump right after, and hold right. So uh, it should look like this, and I, I hope I don't mess it up. So let me, let me, I, I push him down, I slash, put the bomb, go talk left again, one, two, three, four, and... That was actually really weird. I missed it. Um, it was really weird because I landed on the rock. And then... Uh, Alright, so um, let's try that again. I've actually never seen that happen before, so that was very confusing to me. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So, I didn't have two hearts. Like I said, you want to have two hearts to do this trick. Uh, that actually would have worked. Uh, instead, the fox did the villa skip there. So, uh, that would have worked if I had the right amount of hearts, but I did not. So, let's try that again. So, I use the fox to push me in the corner a little bit. Place the bomb. Talk to the fox. One, two, three, four. And there we go. So, that is what should happen. And that's kind of what looked like what happened last time, but I, then I fell through the rock. It was very weird. I've never seen that before ever, so I'm not quite sure what happened. So from here, you can just get the key. So that is, that's Phil Skip. And uh, even though I messed up the first time, this trick is not very hard. It's definitely tricky, and you need to get used to the timing. And definitely for a new player, it can be a little bit challenging at first. But once you know the timing and you have the strategy uh, it really isn't too difficult uh, Villa Skip has an older brother AK Skip which is essentially the exact same mechanic and glitch however it's much much harder so uh, that'll be after D3 and uh, that that is gonna be uh, a tough trick to learn but once you get it uh, it also is quite consistent um, I haven't missed it in my last many runs, so uh, you can definitely get consistent at it. So, D3. Let us uh, quickly take a look at the dungeon. So, uh, you're going to want to go up, kill all the enemies in the room, all of them over here, and you're going to want to uh, get this chest. Then you're going to want to go straight up, ignore everything, um, and you're going to want to go in here. This will take you over here, and you're going to want to ignore Every you're gonna ignore this, ignore this, ignore this, uh, and you're gonna want to go to the stairs. Uh, these stairs will bring you over here. You're gonna want to kill the enemies in this room in this kind of fashion. Uh, then you leave, kill the 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 zoles over here to open the door. Uh, go in here and kill the. Uh, bomb snake things and then go get your boots then here you're gonna break the invisible you're gonna get your boots leave get the invisible wall jump over and get the nightmare key from here you're gonna want to go through here uh, and get um, get the hidden the thing key over here um, then you're going to want to reload the game. You should save as soon as you get the key. You're going to spawn in over here. You're going to want to go get this chest. Then you're going to want to go up here. Um, and get, uh, I forget, it's this room, I guess. No, it's this one. Kill the skeletons in here and get these 300 rupees. That is quite important. 
Um, and then uh, you want to take this warp. Uh, you can also do this path first, kill these, get the 300 rupees, auto load, come here, get the uh, dungeon, the nightmare key, and then take the warp again. Uh, either should be fine, it's comparable in speed, for a beginner it should be the same. Take the warp to here, I like to go up here, uh, kill all the enemies in this room and get another key, then um, come back out and you go around the little loop-de-loop, -loop. Uh, and the rest should be uh, self-explanatory. You come out of here and you go up and you fight the boss. So that's D4. Um, so let me go back and let's do it. Or not D not D4. It's D3. I don't know if I said D3 or D4. So here I like to blow him up first and then try and get the lucky snipe like I just did there, which instantly kills the skeleton. Sometimes you can get it much quicker in it because you have to wait for the bomb to explode, but if you can instantly hit the bomb into the skeleton, uh, then that's good because then you don't have to wait for the bomb to explode before getting the chest. So here I like to go down, and I like to get hit by this guy, uh, so that it I don't get an acorn drop from these uh, red poles in the next room. Another strategy that I just started doing that I li kind of like doing is instead of shooting a bomb arrow uh, later, I walk in, I immediately pick up a bomb, and I throw it like that. So what that is going to do uh, is it will just keep in mind that I did that, and you'll you'll understand why I did that. Also, I just realized that when I redid Villa Skip, I uh, didn't buy more bombs. I actually just stole the shovel. And so now I have no bombs. So uh, that's a mistake on my part. Um, you're going to want to have more bombs than me here. You're going to have more bombs than me here. Um, so I'm going to play this very safe. And uh, I hope that I can complete this dungeon, because that would be very sad if I could not. I think I'll be fine, though. Um, I should have just enough. Um, I should have had 20, 20, uh, 20 bombs. Instead, I only had 10. So I have half the bombs that I actually... So that bomb I threw before, by the way, made this wall. So this is all kind of self-explanatory. So here I like to shoot a bomb arrow to go above, shoot the bomb arrow. And that was very unlucky. Normally they all hit each other. Oh my god. There's a fairy right there if you want it. Uh, just make sure you pick it up before you pick up the key. So there's the auto load. Um, from here. You get this key. Also, after I complete this dungeon, I will be uh, getting more bombs before starting the next part to... Uh, I'm actually going to show what you do to stop that from happening. So if he... So there he didn't do it. If he starts getting mad right away, he's not doing it now. Like that, you just want to wait a second because then he'll always jump onto you. But if you just chill a second, then he won't uh, jump onto you. But like I was saying, I'm going to um, 
uh, get bombs before the next tu part of the tutorial. So here, what I like to do is I like to charge my sword uh, and then jump. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that didn't work. If it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. You can just slash them like that. But I essentially like to jump in front of them and do a double spin slash. You should try it yourself. It's not too hard. Um, very doable. It's just a quick little optimization. Not nothing, nothing mandatory. So we're gonna auto load the game again and take the warp. So, uh, if I picked up that piece of power, it would make the boss very easy, but I'm going to, for the sake of this video, uh, since you might not have a piece of power, I'm just going to ignore it and uh, do the boss I would if I didn't have a piece of power. So for this boss, uh, you essentially need to slash his eye four times, I believe. And then from there, dash through the middle to split him apart. Uh, and then um, you hit one of the sides four times. The other one should jump into the air. And then you kind of just stand in front of it, wait for it to fall down. Uh, and then you dash it twice in the eye. So it should look like this. <laughs> Two, three, four. Dash in the middle. One. Oh, okay. That never happens. So jump and then dash twice. So the fact that I actually did that on the correct cycle is actually insane. That never happens. Uh, normally the one you start hitting does not jump into the air right away. But uh, you just want to slash one of them four times. Wait for the other one to jump into the air. Uh, as soon as he lands, you want to jump so that you're kind of in front of him. And then do just two dashes into his eye. Um, and that is Dungeon 3. And that is going to conclude this part of the uh, tutorial. Um, next, we're going to be doing uh, AK Skip. Which is... A trick and a half, that's for sure. And uh, Dungeon 4. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys then.